Hi guys, welcome to Nareshe Technologies. This is Subraj. Another video session on shell programming. So, in the previous video session, you observed introduction to shell. Now, shell related some programs we can try to solve. For example, I am going to write a script. Currently, how many users logged in? I want to display the number. So, generally we are using how many users currently logged in? Generally, we are using users. Right now, two users logged in here. I want to display this number. Then I am using users pipe symbol. Pipe is nothing but one command output taking as input. Then I am giving double uc word count iphone w I provided. It is giving two. So, I need like this number, the same command we need to write in the form of shell programming. We will try that. vi users dot sh. Of course, already program available it opens. If new it existed, that means of it opens a new window. Now, I am entering that already program available various various commands already tried. So, currently logged in users, echo already a covered, it is a printf statement in our shell programming. What exactly printf duty in C programming language, the same duty echo. Please view my video number 10 or 9 for the echo. So, who wc iphone l, it is giving lines, who iphone q, we will try that one also once. Is it really working? Come out from there. Right, I am coming out. And double uc. Who? Iphone q. Observe. Users to. What is who duty? In the starting video sessions, I explained. It displays number of users currently logged in. Just the best one is man who you can type, you can understand. Right, now I am going to again my script. This one I want to run. After written the program, wq, enter, run the program, users dot sh, enter. Observe, number of users, users, users. Program successfully executed. So, this is a simple program, how many users currently logged in. Another task we will try to do, how many files existed in the current directory? Actually, how to display current directory path PWD, present working directory or current working directory, like this different names available. Now, how to display number of files in the current directory? ls pipe symbol wc iphon l. 65 files existed in the current directory. How to convert this into shell program? vi any file name dot sh. If available, it opens. Only time saving purpose, I am not writing again because all are simple programs, simple shell scripts. Press hit the return key, echo number of files, okay, ls, same, whatever the command just now executed, I shown to you. Write shift colon, w save, q exit, press return key and execute. First interpreter name sh and that. So, number of files in the current directory 65 or existed. In the same line you want escape sequences will use. For example, there are several tasks available. What is shell? Collection of Unix commands putting in a file that file we are executing that is called shell. Now, I want to do these many tasks, task 1 dot sh or task. 
I want to display the domain name. I want to display the IP address, display current week number, like there are several tasks available. All these are comments. In the Unix operating system, a comment notation is hash. It is a single line as well as a multi line. How it is multi line? When you are completing the line, automatically wrapping, automatically wrapping, where you are hitting the return key until that it take as a comment. Comments are non-executable statements or ignore statements by the interpreter or compiler. Generally using these comments we are writing user defined or customized information in the programming. Whatever the task is there, task name I wrote by using comment notation. So, different tasks available observe correctly. All these commands already we did in our previous video sessions. Once again, just in the form of file I am showing to you. Escape, shift colon, wq means save and exit. Come out from the shell, write clear that and I am executing interpreter name sh task dot sh. All are perfectly, two times displayed is one, right line next, April, everything, all commands executed successfully. So, this is the manner shell programming level we can do tasks, means one command we can able to execute in front of the prompt, prompt means user interface. If you want to execute a collection of Unix commands, prompt unable to support, maybe up to one level there is a mark. But whereas a shell programming means any number of commands you can write and execute the file. So, the, all those commands executed step by step. So, it is a really a perfect shell script file. So, this is starting and basic level shell programming. Got. So, these are the basic, but first of all, shell programming dot sh extension compulsory or not. Generally, every shell program extension we are saving with dot sh. Is it mandatory? Well, practically see that. I am writing for example, one program vi no extension dot no dot no extension. If I hit the return key, it is going to editor with the name of no extension. So, file does not have any kind of extension. So, if any file existed, okay, otherwise I will create in front of you. Yes, there is I think one file existed, you can observe without any extension. So, now I will take this that, that program and to execute that, no extension, write vi no extension. Now, I will create, I am removing that, otherwise I will save with the another name, vi no extension, that is all. Hit the return key, editor opened in command mode, I insert mode, I am writing hash comment script without dot sh extension, nice. Simple statements I am writing, echo welcome to bash shell programming bash shell programming echo thank you that is all two statements I implemented here press escape command mode shift colon w save q. So, this is the prompt to exit save and exit hit the return key perfect. Now, I am executing this using interpreter sh no extension. Is it really get executed or not? Perfect. In shell programming, dot sh extension is not compulsory, optional. Programmatically, practically, I shown to you in front of you. Thank you for watching my videos. For more videos, please log on Naresh IT channel.